All right. Hello, everyone. I am here. I'm here with some Thronefall. I really enjoyed playing this yesterday, and so I wanted to come back for some more. Uh, because, I don't know, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Kingdom, and this is pretty much everything I would possibly... Oh, got all tab for a hot second. There we go. This is everything I'd want out of Kingdom, but, uh... Let's see. High score of 1,200. Oof. I don't even know what my high score was. Uh, it's everything I wanted out of the Kingdom, and then a lot more. We have all these, like, starting perks I want to grab. The mutators, which I'm kind of iffy about, and another weapon that I want to unlock. And it's still early access, too, so there's a lot. Uh, late. I never start exactly on time because everybody isn't here, and, you know, ultimately, I don't need to be that punctual. You ain't my teacher. Nobody's my teacher. You ain't my boss, either. Uh, let's see. So we've got Frosty. Oh, let's check what my high score over here was before we dive in. 6,000, so 12,000 high score is going to be kind of tough if I want to get that one, but whatever. We're going to dive into Frosty. Do we want to do bow or spear? I did like this spear. Oh, right, the dagger stab. No, I think I'm going to go spear. And why don't we do arcane towers and pumpkin fields? And... Oh. I see. Achieve victory with sword and snake. Well, I can't do that. Yeah, I can't do any of the other ones. So we're just going to play this uh, on an easier, easier setup. And we'll just see how it goes. Okay, so I've got four coins. We have this. Builds a fishing boat every morning. Max five boats. Each boat generates one gold per day. Cost three isn't going to give me that much money yet. Eventually gets me five per boat. That's a blacksmith for upgrades. It's an archery range. And another house. I think I'm just going to do two houses for now. And that'll just be it. And we'll work our way up. And we're not going to be able to... Oh, I am a damn fool. There are no fields. Why would I have the upgrade for fields if... Uh, why would I have the upgrade for fields if there are no fields? Yeah, you, I forgot that I can't farm. Yeah, I, I, I'm just turning it on by default at this point because I'm a goober. Uh, let's see. Castle has more HP, greater attack range, free resurrection, or architect's council. I think I might just go for the heavy armor. Yeah, let's just go for the heavy armor. Okay, at least we can get this really quick. Because I know what I'm doing now. Alright, and to war. Hello, victims. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do them in. I'll have to see what the sword does. Because I'm liking the spear. Uh, okay, sir. You're not getting by me. Thank you. All right. Very little money. And what the heck are these things? Slimes? I'm going to get one tower down. And then we'll start getting the dock. I wonder if I can upgrade the dock. I have no idea. All right. So they're pretty weak. There's a lot of them. Alright, I'm just gonna... It seems like there's just a lot of them, and that's the answer. I'm taking some hits, but not much. Yeah, we're good. Okay, couple of crossbowmen, that's it. Let's see, how much money do I need to upgrade this? Seven. Six. I'm going to err on the side of boldness, get a couple of houses down. We need econ pretty bad. Okay, start with that. Hopefully don't take too much damage here. Regenerate a little bit. No, I don't. But that's okay. Because I can heal myself and go stabby. So the crossbowmen are actually a, a clear and present danger that I can't just ignore. 
45 slimes. Ooh. That's a bunch. Okay. Uh, let's see. Have large range, fragile. Low range, high damage output. I think I'm going to go for the archers, especially longbow back there. And then we'll get two more houses down. And then after this, I think we're going to have to upgrade... Let's see. After this, we're going to have to upgrade our town. Because there's precious little I can actually do at the moment. There's so many of the slimes. Oh, gosh. Okay. So the slimes, the slime should not be taken lightly. Oh, I think we're dead. Yeah, we lost. Wow. Okay. Scarecrows. Uh, oh, new upgrade path for our mills. And there's the horse. Uh, let's try again. I don't think I'm going to change too much. I think I'd skip the fur skip the first tower. I don't know. It might be one of those that we also want to just kind of um hang out on a lower lower like low, low, lower level area. Try the blacksmith. I don't I don't think the blacksmith is a good idea yet. It provides upgrades for me and my units. But that seems like it would cost money, and I have no money. Okay, then it's 17 slimes, which I can't really deal with too easily. I think we're going to do this again. The 17 slimes I think would kill me. On my own. But since they're slightly split between me and the tower, it's not as bad. Okay. Next order of business... I got six. I'm going to have like eight after this. I'm going to buy one house and one tower. Because that'll help a little bit. And yeah, I think the boats are a good option. Um, I think the main problem is they scale a little slower. And early, I, you kind of want that early boost. Okay. I can just barely afford this. Oh. You execute your weapon special ability when the last cooldown expires. The next cooldown is greatly reduced. And extra attack damage from my character. I think I'm still going to go for the royal training. The assassin's one sounds kind of interesting, but maybe not at the moment. Because I need the extra HP. Yeah, let's just go for that. Uh, let's see. Did you try Tactics Ogre Reborn? I uh, used to check my YouTube videos. I have a video on it. 
I don't do long playthroughs of most games. Unless it's like really special and I'm super passionate about it. But Tactics Ogre is just a little too slow and a little too repetitive for me. Yeah, so the uh, the hero upgrade seems to have worked really well here. Yeah, I think that was the right call. The only immediate problem is not enough money. Okay, so what do we have? Swordsman and a battering ram. Interesting. I'm just getting a, gonna get another one of those. Uh, income from all boats in this harbor is doubled. Oh, shoot. Cost eight. I should have gotten that, or, uh, I should have upgraded this sucker. Oh well. Fine. But, you always gotta think in terms of, like, as a content creator, streamer, I kinda hate saying the word content, but as, like, a YouTuber and streamer, uh, if I wanted to finish any game, I stream for about four, four hours on average. Um... And so if a game takes eight hours long to beat, that's about two streams. If it's 12, three. If it's 60, that's 15 streams. Uh, and if I only stream maybe, what, twice a week? Uh, that quickly turns into, there is no human way, I, uh, there is no way I, I could possibly reach the end of this uh, in a feasible amount of time. Okay. Do we want to do anything else? Pikemen. I think we've got flyers if they're coming from there. It might not be a good idea to get another boat. I suppose I could upgrade some houses. Oh, no, I shouldn't do that. Uh, let's get the archers down. I think I'm just going to do longbow. Reason being, I can't actually hit the flyers. Uh, I'm functionally useless for this section. But having a couple of archers here to cover should help. I think we're good. Yeah, the algorithm punishes series. Yep. Yeah, I mean, uh, if you want to see evidence for that, I've been streaming Lobotomy Corporation, uh, which is a fairly long game. Uh, and like you, you just look at it right now. Those uh, those vods. Like the first one has twenty thousand views. I think the next one after that only has uh, ooh. Okay, that's that's a bit of an issue. Let's just get that down so it can start start getting its boats out. Do we want to get a barracks? Yeah. Okay, I'm seeing crossbowmen. I think I'm just gonna go for the knights. At least for here. Yeah. What do I what do I have? Because I can get some towers down. I could upgrade this one. We could get archers. Uh, build this tower up. Build that one up as well. And then let's save the remaining money to upgrade a pair of houses. I think that'll do, because I, I can't neglect Econ, we need it desperately. They upgrade the boat. It doesn't have enough fishers out at the moment. Uh, so seven gold for two, two income gain. On that round, not super necessary. Next round though, very worth it. I probably could have actually gone for more Econ though. Because, yeah, I don't, I don't think I needed to invest quite as hard as I did. I see it a lot on Raps' channel where the number of views sharply drops on later videos. Yup. I'm hoping to get to the point where my, like, live stream audience is uh, large enough and consistent enough uh, that I can actually just have uh, 
you know, say if I have like two, three hundred people watching me, even if it doesn't get that many views, like overall in terms of VODs, uh, like VOD viewership, that that baseline viewership would at least guarantee some level of success, at which point it becomes a little bit more viable for me to cover longer games. Uh, let's see. Okay, now this has three fishing boats. Let's get that down. Let's take a look at this. So, baseline, I might as well upgrade that tower. So this is... What are these? I don't know what those things are. I've never seen them before. Uh, let's see. Could get more towers. Could get some houses. Houses. Tower. Actually, let's get the blacksmith down, finally. Okay, so extra melee damage. Three days to research. Range damage. Twenty day, uh, Three days to research. Melee resistance. Ranged resistance. Ooh. I think I might want to go for melee resistance. Okay, and then I have just enough money. So let's upgrade our archers. And start working on some of these houses. Okay, and then I'm just going to collect these lads and bring them over. Because they're not going to help anybody over there. Okay, unfortunately these guys are going for this dock. Hopefully, if it gets destroyed, it doesn't, um... The boat doesn't get destroyed. Yeah, so it looks like, uh... No, I'm just going to ignore that. If they hit my base, so be it. My base can ta take it. This horde is the concern. They're not interested in fighting me. With that house. Oh, not this dock, though. Okay, bop off a bit. Nope, they're gonna... Ah, oh, they took a... That sucks. Yeah, so that means I don't get any money from these fishing boats. Oh, that hurts. And yeah, we don't have any walls. I think at this point, what I'm going to do is just get a bunch of towers down. I'm going to stick with the longbow archers. I'm just going to pr protect what little investments I have. I figure if we've got a flyer wave, we, we can just go kind of nuts with this. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about this. They're even going for the blacksmith. Ouch. I, I think it'll be fine here. And yes, I know I have the perk for stronger towers, so I should invest in them. Well, at least that's a bunch of money. Do we want to upgrade myself further? Uh, costs money, though. Everything costs money. Do we want to upgrade the base? Maybe. It looks like we've got... Yeah, I'm going to go for this in case I can get a wall. I think I'm just going to upgrade myself. So what else can we do? So more archers, more things. Can I upgrade my docks? No. So it looks like they are at peak. Upgrade those archers. And then I'll just upgrade this house. I think my econ's suffering a little bit. Oh, you know what? Before starting the nighttime, we should probably collect all of my lads.
Oh, good. And I can make a wall. I'm not going to at the moment. As a casual reminder, though, try and keep backseating to a minimum. I find uh, it stresses me out and makes me grumpy. Okay, so I'm just going to hang here. We've got a crew. But if I can... If I can put some holes in them before they even get anywhere. That would be a reasonably good thing for me. I guess what I should do is probably hang back. The nice part is I have melee resistance bonuses, so hopefully that means even my soldiers are going to have an easier time here. But hopefully. Okay, I think that's the last of the fight, boys. We just have to worry about the ballist or the battering rams. Just going straight for my archers, so let's not let them do that. All right, we're good. All right. Painless. Didn't la lose a single econ structure. Now it is time for problems. I'm going to start with that. They're going to beeline. Uh, okay, here's the question. Do we want to upgrade this defensive tower further? I might as well. So, fortress, ballista, range, low rate of fire, regular arrows also pours boiling oil onto nearby enemies. I'm going to try the hot oil if it's going to be right here. Let's see, we've got some more houses. I'm going to get this tower down. Give one more upgrade. Even more melee resistance. I, I do like the idea of uh, just investing really hard into, uh, into melee resistance to the point where nothing... Yeah. I'm just going to keep doing that. Okay. Let's see, do we upgrade this? Because the wall requires 10. Yeah, so I'll just upgrade that, and we'll get another house down. Alright, and then collect the lads. Guess I should, should have collected these guys, too. Fine. We'll do another round of it. Okay. Might as well have them kind of front and center. I'm hoping the oil tower does some real good here. Oh good, and they're coming from very far away this time around. Oh. Well, that's rough. I mean, luckily, I've got, like, oodles of towers out here. But I think we're fine. The fact that they took the long way around but got smacked by all of my towers actually worked out in my favor. Oh, my blacksmith! The flyers just went straight over. And I had no archers in the area. Ouch. Let's see, barracks, but that's melee. I have like no towers back here. Um, no ability to build more and get more houses. Uh, I 
I'm just going to get a ballista down. God, there really is just a lot of dudes, isn't there? Let's see. Can I get a, another watchtower? Yeah. That'll be it. I think we'll be good. I'm just going to come over here to try and help. I guess I should upgrade this one. I think this is kind of my frontliner. Okay. I'm just going to hang out here. Try not to die. I'll have my big boost. There we go. Oh, that self-heal on the spear is just too good. How's the other side doing? Bad. Legitimately horribly. I should have trusted in my walls. I mean, as long as they don't get to this dock, we at least keep some of our econ. To, I'll have to see if there's a wall that I can put like over here. Seems unlikely, but we'll see. Okay, we got that extra melee resistance. Question marks. Okay. Oh, we can get a wall down over here. I could even gotten a gold mine. I don't know what question marks means. I'm going to just get walls. First. Was it a lake monster? Does actually look like it might be a lake monster. <laughs> it's clearly from the lake, which can mean a lot. Okay, let's just start it and then I'll figure out. Okay. I chose the wrong side of the lake. On the plus side, we did a lot of damage to it, from what I can tell. Okay. So I don't think the oil towers are worth it. Where I put them. Yeah, I think we might lose this one. Also, this is kind of loud. Give me a second. There we go. It's just random waves. Hey, did it wipe out your boats? Yeah, it did. But, uh, so it wiped out my boats, but it's the last wave, so it doesn't matter. Uh, my decision to go full melee here was objectively the correct one. Uh, that plus 60% melee resistance that I have has rendered a lot of these enemies kind of completely uh, meaningless. They don't threaten me. Uh, I, if we do another round here, and we will, I'm probably not going to put a whole lot of defenses out here again. Uh, I think I will put way more effort into the interior, and that includes my houses. Oh, they did break through anyway, though. Also, flails. Uh... Flail melee men. 
absolute necessity here. Okay, I'm just gonna hang out in the mix. And yeah, as nice as the harbors are, this one's functionally pointless for me. Uh, this one was decent. And we lose. Damn. Heavy Sword is a must for this map just to deal with those ball things. Unfortunately, we just unlocked it. So, I guess we get to try it. Slow melee attack, splash damage, strong against groups of enemies. Yep, I can see that being good. Regenerate health much faster, and the delay before health regen starts is reduced. Cool. So let's do a continue. Uh, continue. Melissa did a lot of damage to the boss. No, the boss... I mean, maybe it did. Um, But mostly the boss took a lot of damage from... Yeah, do I want the Royal Mint? Because we did need the income pretty bad. I still think Heavy Armor is probably better. I don't think I'm going to change much about that. Ah, uh, okay. So let's build this. And now I'm going to start the harbor. Okay. I just want these guys to pay attention to me. Now, we don't have the self-heal that we did with the spear. That is the one issue. But maybe that regen perk actually would have been really good with this guy. And also, getting the blacksmith down reasonably early. Not like super duper early, but reasonably early. Uh, and investing into um, melee resistance. Also a very good idea. I think I will upgrade all the houses behind the lines because except for the couple of flyers that got through we uh the houses were mostly untouched let's see crossbow men with some longbows i i'm thinking we go melee more than bows well that worked rather well And yeah, we'll we'll focus our towers around the lake just because they will hit the boss. You're not you're not wrong on that one. Uh, let's see. Do we think I can take out some crossbow men myself? Time to learn. Nope. Yeah, the spear can take these out. Maybe we're fine. They take these guys out, though. Unfortunately, the greatsword is not as big of a sweep as I was hoping it would be. gold mine good on start do we have a gold mine okay let's uh let's resign this one i i needed that extra tower and i think i think it is better to get the two houses first before the dock because there's a house i know there's a mine over here but I don't think I can... No, I don't think I have a mine spot. Yeah, there's no mining to be had right at the beginning. There is a mine eventually, but I have to upgrade upgrade my, my town at least once before it shows up. Like, there would be a... There would be a little peg here saying that I can build something. So, no. There, there is nothing there. I'm just gonna put myself kind of right here. 
I want to limit it so I'm hitting as many of them as possible. I was really hoping the uh, the greatsword would swing like the uh, the flail with like a much bigger sweep. Okay. So that worked out. Now I'm going to build this. We could get the dock down. Yeah, we'll we'll start the dock. It's good money. Okay. I I'm going to repeat though. Y'all are getting very back CD. Just chill. I'll figure it out or I won't. I don't really like the guild perk because it doesn't actually get me that much money faster, just a little bit. And so I'm not convinced it's worth it. Okay. We only have four crossbowmen. God, and they skunked me. It's fine. And so yeah, maybe the guild perk is worth it. I don't know. I just don't know if it has the same long-term benefits as giving me heavy armor or um, or making my towers that much better. Okay, I've got seven. We're going to just put it in this. So here's the question. Do we want to go for a royal training or assassin training? Because I could potentially try going assassin. I'm gonna try going assassin. We'll see. We'll see if the uh, damage bonus is worth it. Especially if I have a short cooldown on that slash. Because yeah, I think I can just mash the button. For that short cooldown. I think that works. I mean, it absolutely did work. Very effective. Uh, eight gold to double. Mmm. No. Not yet. Let's get some flails. Uh, and I'm just going to upgrade some houses. We'll double the boats on the next round. Yeah, see, I was really hoping I would have the uh, the same uh, the same flail bonus. Okay, I should probably get in here and wail on the battering ram before it does too much damage. Oh, I forgot about my. Assassin perk. Okay, so liars. I don't have anything vulnerable, so I think this should do the trick. Unfortunately, I can do nothing here, so let's let's just hope. will be good. They may mess up the tower and they might do a little bit of damage to my... Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, so this is the crossbowman ballista... Or crossbowman battering ram round. I guess... Let's just do the easy thing of build these towers. I was going to build them anyway. Oh, you know what? I am actually going to build this. And archery range? Yeah. Let's just do that. That'll hopefully keep them off a little bit. Because we want that other dock to start outputting. Otherwise, we are going to have some issues. Ow. That really hurts.
I miss my spears. I won't deny. Yeah, this this healing is very slow. But I think we're fine. A perk that increase uh that increases the gold that enemies drop would be very powerful. Yeah, that would actually be really nice. Luckily the battering ram is slow and unprotected. That yeah, spear might be the overall best. I like this spear, I think, the most out of all of them. I'm going with the sword for this, but I might switch back. Okay, and this was blob hell. Well, we can get even more towers down. Think about other things. Actually, easy answer. Start on that melee resistance. Uh, let's see. We get two houses or tower. Right, that's archers. We do also have another barracks back there, which I probably should have grabbed. But it's fine. I'm hoping my flaily boys here should be able to kind of carry. But I'm also hoping that these towers are really good. I don't think I'm going to upgrade this one any further. Um, but these three along the coast here, I'm probably going to upgrade a lot. And the two outside the walls, I think I'm going to have those be my oil tower. Oil towers? Uh, just to cut through some. Some of the horde. I don't think I'm going to go for the assassin perk again. The whole timing your ability thing is really hard to manage. And I'm not very good at it. I don't th oh, it's tough. Yeah, it costs 20 to get that one up. I guess I'll upgrade a couple of these. I yeah, definitely have a lot more ranged presence than the last time I did this. Oh yeah, and we should go get the gold mine up. Before it gets too late. Oh, that's painful. I was really hoping my defenses in that area would actually cover it. But do we have the mine? We do have the mine. Let's snag that. We've got the big horde. This thing just keeps getting bodied. So I'm kind of glad I haven't invested too hard into it. Oh. Nuts. I could have actually gotten another blacksmith upgrade started. I'll have to remember to do that at the beginning. Okay, so this is the fight crew. Uh, why are my, oh, my flaily boys are just in the back. That's not great. don't have the melee resist bonus that we need. 
I don't know. I think just on a character utility basis, that, that spear, though. Is there another mine? Not that I've seen. Okay. I think we actually did fine here. So maybe my second guessing is bad. I think it's mostly just I don't like the assassin perk. Uh, I wish it was just more damage and shorter cooldown. Not time it well and get a shorter cooldown. Yeah, so they didn't hit the dock. Which is kind of what I was hoping for. Oh, we also didn't get any gold from that mine. If the mine gets destroyed, it's... Yeah, you get nothing for it. This is hardly a surprise, but it is painful. Right, 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 right. Cannot forget. We need to get this melee armor upgrade as many times as we possibly can. And honestly, considering my own utility, let's, uh, let's get this. I'm so curious if the commander healing aura heals me as well. Question, can I actually... I was really hoping I could actually change my controls. I hate control being the, um, the commanding... direction i don't know the uh the like hey follow me thing i do not like that it is really inconvenient okay the flyers are actually bypassing and heading for my docks I think these docks over here complete red herring. I might just skip them in the future. They might survive here. I don't know. But considering the fact that they've only managed to live for so long. After all of this. Is kind of rough. I'm very glad I have not invested in them, and I probably will not at all. Hey, thank you, Clinton Wolf, for the $20 super chat. First live stream. I'm glad I uh, could make it before my day. Good luck with the rest of the level, and thanks for all the content, as well as making people happy. Well, thank you. Okay. So this is uh, where things get spicy. Look at the wall down here. I'm just gonna yeah so the mine got destroyed again i i think yeah you have to you have to start with the mine okay i want to hold off on that one i don't want to do anything with that we've got a lot of melee lads but i oh no that cost 16 never mind let's boost our flail counts and then I think I'm just going to move these guys outwards a smidge. I'll build this wall just because. Okay, let's see what I can do beyond this. This side is probably... It's got great towers, not the best survivability. Now, if I remember right, the battering ram crew. It's you guys. Ow. Still hurts. They just ate that tower. Like it was nothing. Alright, I flee. Good luck. I've done I've done what damage I can do. Take a look at over here. Yeah, 
It might honestly be easier for me to just go down. I want to survive. No. Good enough. But yeah, that, that mine, absolute waste of money. I, th I think, yeah, you're right. If I start with the gold mine, uh, then it's actually useful. But as it stands, I just cannot protect it in time. It's too far away uh, and too inconveniently placed. And yeah, we're not going to be able to get another armor upgrade. Have enough? No, I'm just shy. Guess I'll just get that up. Uh, do we have another unit camp? I guess, yeah. I'll get this one. Okay, anything else for me to do? Not overwhelmingly. Yeah, the problem is half of my units are just going to get cooked here. We also didn't build, like, half the houses. So, probably should have focused more on that much sooner. And credit where credit is due. My sword slash does do a number on this specific round. My main thing is I'm just going to uh, perish. I'm just gonna get up and in here and just hit the boss. That'll help with the wall. And yeah, that that melee bonus of mine seems to be working. Or melee resistance bonus seems to be working rather well for me. I just want to hit him as well. Because if I can get him with every single one of my boosted AoEs, that'll make this much easier. Okay. I might have to take a break round. The Flailmen were the correct choice. Oh, dang, I did have another barracks that I could have actually built up. Okay. Oh, he's right at the walls this time. It's rude. I guess it makes my AoEs better. walls. Ain't having much of a break here. Can you tell your archers to stay instead of running out of the enemy? Not really, no. Okay, I'm just gonna hang out here. Oh. Oh, you absolute monster. I mean, of course he should be able to do this, but that's really rude of him. On the flip side, I guess it makes it easier for me to do some damage. Alright, he's gone down. Let's just make sure it doesn't kill my castle. Okay. He's on to, like, his last HP bar. I'm just gonna hang out here until it's about time for me to use my AoE. Oh, he's got one more after this. I 
hang out over here. Big AoEs. Yeah, melee resistance is an upgrade. Incredibly good choice. Definitely should have gotten more Flail Boys, though. They are, I want to say, the champions here. Look at the, the barracks. Oh, he's going for the final spot. Okay, I think we've got him, though. He's dead. Alright, so we just have to survive this. Uh, oh, come on. Don't have me lose right here. Nope, we got it. Oh, just barely skin of our teeth. Woo! That was close. Hopefully I get another perk slot. Uh, new upgrade path for your, uh, for your mills. Wind spirits can catch and block enemy arrows in range of the mill. Huh. Walls and towers have a lot more HP. Alright. So that's it. So there's only so many levels left. But that's fine. Let's take a look at, uh, some of these other ones. So, victory with turtle, victory with snake, and then turtle and wolf. So we can do that one. That might not be too bad. Uh, let's see, what about over here? Beer and turtle. Let's see, pumpkin fields and arcane towers. Yeah, do we want to give this a shot? I think so. Let's see how that goes. Uh, let's see, right, build this up. So I've got a mine up here. Yeah, I gotta start with the mines. I don't remember if I have any other good mine spots. I think there's one up here? No. No mines, but I could get a field down, which is tempting. But I think I'm gonna need these lads. Oh, this was this was a mine. I am one shy. Do get a pair of houses? I think so. I don't know how much extra HP they get. Yeah, there are three mines here. Alright, bring them down. And let's start just mulching through them. I think we're fine. I don't know, I, I really do not know how much extra HP they get. It seems manageable, at least. Alright. And that Spearman will slow them down. We're good. Alright. Now that we've done that, where are they coming from? We can get this mine at the very least. They're coming from down there. Well, I think in this case, let's go get that last mine. Eighteen soldiers and nine rolly boys. Might be a problem. We'll find it out. There's a lot of them. They actually do hurt, too. But I think that one house that I built was kind of meaningless. But it seems like the Rolly Boys are mostly interested in going for my base. The problem is they kill the base incredibly fast. Woo! Okay. That's gonna be tough. So, the mines were objectively the correct decision. 
I guess we'll just build this one for the time being. I need these lads. I don't think there's a I have a choice on that one. Well, I suppose I'll just get the two houses. Okay. Uh let's see. Grab these guys, bring them down. Bring them down, mess them up. Okay, let's not get clobbered too much here. Huh. Oh, wait, no. It is probably attacking my minions. Still. Tidy. Uh, let's see. We, we just straight up lost on the second wave there. Ouch. Yeah, so I think we need to get, get the wall down. Do one wall, one tower, and then go get a mine. There we go. I think I think this is the way of doing it. These guys are going to be an issue. But I, I'm hoping the extra tower should work in my favor, and these guys are going to get skunked by the wall long enough that my soldiers can come and help. Yeah, the wall was the correct choice. I probably could have actually skipped the tower, but it's certainly peace of mind. Okay, so I think they come from... Oh, bottom again. It's just eight riders, though. So I guess in that case, let's upgrade. Um... Probably going to go Royal Training. We don't have any fields here. I fought more riders. Oh, there's bowmen up here. That's the, that's the trade-off. Okay. I guess I'm going to get this gold mine down. Let's see. And I'll just get that tower. Plunk these guys over here. See what else do we have? There's one house. Okay. I'm going to assume they've got that. I'm going to go for the archers. Yeah, try the new mill. I'd like to. I'll, the only problem is they're kind of expensive. Okay. Load them down some. Just wait. Get back in here. Ah, now's a fine time. Yeah, I think we're fine. Even with the uh, bonus HP, we can chunk through most of these archers. There we go. Okay, so where are they coming from? Looks like 10 archers. And then a whole smack of dudes. Okay, so what do we have? Scarecrows. I think I'm just going to go for the improved plow. Oh, those are expensive. I'm just going to get that. 
It's probably going to get destroyed on the next round, but not the round after. We've got 10 archers. You know, all things considered, do we want to get the archery range? Or barracks. Uh, let's see. We've got soldiers and flyers. Grab the knights. They're a bit tougher. Archers here. Do we want to do longbows? Yeah. I fell off. Fine. Actually, maybe I should just go solo that archer wave. We could do it. Could do that. Build a wall here. Or no, let's just get a let's just get a tower down. Because I, I know I can fight 10 archers solo. Okay. Yeah, so let's let's bring this whole crowd here. Hopefully they'll keep this gold mine alive. And I'm just gonna go park myself right at the beginning with all the archers. Uh, kill them as fast as I possibly can and then run back to help with everything else. Okay, I'm a little wounded, but that's not a problem. Screwed that up a little. Only a little. Okay, so we're having some losses up there. But maybe I'll be okay. I mean, it seems like the fight, fight horde is working. I was worried they touched the uh, gold mine, but it looks like we're fine. There we go. Okay, so how much money do we get? A chunk. And lucky me, they're coming from down below. It is the Roly Explodey Boys, though. Let's see. Mill explodes, wind destroyed. I'm just going to go for the improved plow. It'll pay for itself ish. Let's see, do we want to get another one of those? I'm going to have to defend this a little bit more avidly than I have. It is the one issue. Uh, I'm going to build that wall. Okay, but my thoughts are, if I want to be tricksy, oh, I could have actually bought another barracks. Okay, there's five of the Roly Boys. Eh, nah, I'm not going to be too tricksy with this. I'm just going to try and place these guys as far down as I possibly can. Uh, so that the, the urchins destroy themselves on my soldiers first. Okay, that hurts. Alternatively... Okay, there goes one urchin. 
I was really hoping the urchins would actually uh, blow themselves up and hurt their fellows. Oh, there goes that mine. But, all things considered, that's fine. I think that was the only urchin that actually got gone down. But I think we're good. Okay, 30 archers. I mean, all things considered, not terrible. Build the wall. Build a couple of these. Oh, we do have a, a couple of lads coming from up above as well. Bonus damage against ranged units, so that's worth it. Do I want to econ a little harder? I kind of do, yeah. Alright, so let's grab this group. Still got four to spend on something. There's another mill. If I wanted to. Let's see. I could just get this tower. Not the worst. It's not the best positioning, but I don't hate it. Okay, so let's take these guys. Plop them here. Good everybody. We're just going to bring them here. Okay, we got 12 runners. They should be able to block it. Let's see, you can walk into the mines. Yeah, I'm really lazy about that. Ooh, they hurt. Problem is my crossbowmen decide to come join the fray by standing in front. Okay, at this point they have it. Oh, that is nice and easy. Okay, so big ups. We've got 12 horsemen coming from the lower section. That's not too bad. Let's um get another mill down. Let's see. Do we want to get another one? Oh, I have some other options. We could upgrade myself. I like that. That gives me some more building spots anyway. Okay, so 12 horsey boys. I'm just going to double the amount of lads there and then not even think about it. Let's see. What is this? Damage fast enemies slows them down. Sure. Got five. I could get a, another one of those. Now, nah, let's just get another one of these. And another house. Because I, I think I'm maybe over defending. Okay, so let's back off, because the towers are going to kill him. And let's get in here. We're going to tank this one. Blow up in my face, but I go to heal. There. Yeah, if I play my cards just right here, we don't have to worry about even losing the farms out on this side. Bingo. 
All right, so we've got urchins, soldiers. Oh, this one's a bit tougher. Is it? Maybe it's fine. All right, so I'm going to take these guys. We're just going to bring them down here. They should be able to handle that, no problem. I don't think we need to protect the mine anymore. Alright, then I'm going to snag all of these lads. They're going to go protect top. I guess I'll just put them outside the wall. Get a couple more fields. I know we don't have too much longer. Before we're done. Ooh. That's a big financial upgrade though. Sure. I'm gonna stop spending money there just for a hot second. What do we want to do next? Is it spend eight? Yeah, why don't why don't we do that actually very briefly? Upgrade just a couple of those. Bring them up over here. I'm going to try and solo this section for the most part. I'll upgrade this tower just so it does a little bit more damage. And then I think that's going to be it. Okay, they are coming. Just very slowly. There's the urchin. It's a shame we don't get the blacksmith. Okay, it's going to go blow itself up on that tower. Hopefully the tower can just tank it. And if it doesn't, we don't need the tower that bad. Alright, so far so good. We're good. Easy peasy. Okay. Uh, that's a lot of horses. I guess I'll upgrade the wall. I'll think about what I want to do with that one. Uh, do we want to get even more spearmen? Maybe. What else can I build? I can build a whole bunch of houses. Okay, so nothing is coming from top, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's um upgrade that. Do we want to... You know what? I'm going to do it. We're going to upgrade this one to be hot oil. Yeah, do we upgrade this one any further? I think so. Because it pays for itself in a round. Okay, I've got plenty of dudes kind of along this, but let's uh, start lining it with towers. I don't have much more. That requires 16, that requires 16. I don't think we have any other barracks spots. I guess I'll just upgrade the towers. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so last order of business, snag these guys. And just stick them down here. So what is the area I need to protect the most? Probably, ooh, I don't actually know. Oh, I haven't done anything here defensively. It's just two towers and then me. I guess I know where I'm sticking myself.
Okay. Let's just let this go for a little bit. I don't know. I kind of wish I could see how many were remaining. But it's fine. Yeah, I got to keep an eye on my clock. Because I've got to be somewhere at four. We got plenty of time. Yell at me if we get past three Eastern, though. Right, do we think we're good? Yeah, unfortunately, the horse boys like to, uh... Oh, horse boys, the invaders like to ramp up that rock. God, there's just so many of them. Okay, that's good. I think my archer towers have it covered. And they just absolutely destroyed them. I guess one horse boy managed to get around. Okay. Oh, we get bonus points for Realm 100% protected. Useful. I should probably stop spending money, though. Let's see what I want to do. Because we've got heck out this direction. I think I'm just going to have a massive quantity of men. Let's see. Do we think these guys just have it? We might lose that one mil. You know what? Actually, here's the easy solution. I'm just going to snag this entire group. These little guys are just runners anyway. Uh, so I'm just going to put that there. Do we want to snag this as kind of a bonus? Sure. Okay, they should handle that no problem. We're just going to grab everybody else. And we're just going to stick them on top of this farm as the just unstoppable fight cloud. And then I'm going to go make sure that the uh, Blasty Boys don't get in. I guess I should maybe also consider going for the Ballistas, but eh. Yes, yeah, so we'll lose a little bit of farming here. But I think it'll be fine. I not a blasty boy was to be, uh, was to be found that day. Luckily, we've got like oodles of crossbowmen and archers just hanging out on top of that hill. Okay, then I just don't need to do anything here. And yet, yeah, those guys were perfectly fine. It seems like just a massive quantity of soldiers uh, works. So let's grab the cloud. Now, I haven't been paying attention to the the day numbers, but I think we're getting to the point where it's almost the end of the day. I'm probably just going to turn both of these into ballistas for big damage. But then I think that's it. We can't do any more upgrades here. I think I'm going to save my money before investing further into those. Yeah, do we want to just... Quantity of Ballista? I think so. Round 11 now. We might have, like, one more day after this. I don't think I'm going to do anything more than just invest into defenses. There are not a whole lot of defenses left to invest into. Uh, let's see. Nah, it costs six. Nuts. Oh, but you know what I can do? I can get a hour there. Anything else? Yeah. I guess let's just grab these guys. And we're just going to put them down here, probably. That way they'll be within range of the shootmen. Uh, 
Okay. Don't get killed, but stay kind of low. Woo! So don't get killed. These lads have other ideas. Ah, I've died. Yeah, whatever. You can see the round started. Uh, round at start of the night, lower middle of the screen. Yeah, I'm just not paying attention to the down there. Unfortunately for me, like I just I don't have the wherewithal to look every every single night. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is the final night. As far as things go, it looks pretty final night to me. I think I'm going to have this one be hot oil. Oop. I don't know how I managed to go up the hill there, but I did. Or maybe I just never went around the rock. I'm not entirely sure. So this one's a bit tough. We've got that top section, which I'm pretty much just going to abandon. I think I'm going to have that one be iron plates. Well, let's grab these lads and bring them down. Put them here. I'm going to upgrade these two to be beefy as possible. Do we think I can solo top? Oh yeah, there is that one tower spot that I missed. Oops, whatever. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm just gonna have to try and s solo this top section myself. Because there's only three of the bruisers. Wait, can I... I can at least attack from behind the wall. Don't die. Don't die. Okay. I think we chunked most of them down. How's the rest of this looking? Shockingly fine. I think the ballistas are actually just killing most of the interlopers before they get anywhere. Okay, and the wall's looking great. Nope. Oh, damn it. Okay, get rid of the horse boy. I don't know how many lads we're going to have to worry about in this section. Unfortunately, a lot of my archers there are getting pummeled. Okay, the hot oil seems to do heinous things, even the big dudes. What happened out here? All right. You know what, actually? All things considered, I've got a bunch of spearmen who aren't doing much of anything. Let's give them something to do. Actually, no, I'm going to let him I'm, I'm going to let that blow up on the farms. There's no re there's no reason for me to uh, stop the urchins in their tracks. Hope there's not another invasion force hiding somewhere. I 
right, how's this going? Oh, they're just wandering around. I guess there's still some enemies coming from each direction, but it's just like smidges. Nice. How are you doing today, Wando? Good. I'm having a great, great time. Boy, those really high scores are rough. New upgrade path for range unit. Hunters excel at, uh, against monsters, and but have decent melee capabilities as well. Ooh. Units are trained faster, but all barracks are more expensive. Horse is faster, and riding over enemies deals some damage. Oh, that's fun. Okay. I want another perk slot, but I don't know what I'm going to have to do to get that. So let's take a look at this one. So, achieve a victory with turtle. Well, I guess I've already done that. And then there's also turtle and wolf. Ooh. I mean, we could do both. And then there's snake. Enemies drop less gold. Actually, that's hardly an issue. I just want more perk slots. Uh, hmm. Have I played the ice biome yet? Yes, I have. Message sure retracted. I think... <laughs> I think I know why. Um, try it with all mutators. Uh, I mean, we will be doing Tiger God and Turtle God. I think I'm going to wait a little bit. We've still got a lot of unlocks to do. Um, before I think I'm ready to start doing too many mutators. So why, don't we, why don't we just do spear again? Um, and turtle. Because I know that's one of them. Okay. I'm just going to start by getting this down. Unfortunately, I don't have enough money to do any more than that. So actually, why don't we, why don't we resign? We'll try again because that... I don't think that initial mill is worth the cost. Yeah, I know there's a third perk slot, but it's it takes a bit to get. Yeah. So I, I think once we get up to that thir third perk slot, then I'll start doing some of the more challenging things. Yeah, that's, that's three gold for one money. I think I'd rather do get two money now and go from here. I remember when I was playing the, the demo for this, I thought the spear was trash. I was just like, why would I ever pick this? I think I needed the armor was the uh, the key difference. Okay. We've got eight sword boys. Ooh. I want to get the farms down. Yeah, I wonder if wind spirits are actually worth it. Oh, Scarecrows have a strong anti-air attack. Actually, that. I think that's what we want. Okay. Unfortunately, these guys are kind of tanky. I'm not expecting my windmill to survive here, but I'm going to try to keep it alive as best as possible. Oh, sweet kiting. None of that, you. Not that that singular gold is, like, particularly game-winning, but it is nice. Okay. Do we get a second one down? I probably should have just put the farm on the other side. I have three gold. Oh, three gold, but 
It's all farms. Let's just get another one of these towers. I mean, it should be easy enough. Holy shit, those things hurt. Okay. If it's just fighting me or my towers, we're all good. No, sirs. Sirs, fight me. Fight me. I'm a distraction. A deadly distraction. None of that you. There we go. Okay. Econ's decent? Yeah, I think I have to. We need some friends. I need some more power. Otherwise, those archers are going to uh, kill me. Do more health and attack damage. Do we actually just want to upgrade this one? I think so. And unfortunately, I put my mill in probably the worst spot. The most threatened one, at least. At least that stone tower seems to be uh, holding very strong. I guess that was the right call. Alright, so far so good. Kind of. Okay, so we got a bunch of roly boys. They're going to ignore everything but that, which is kind of nice. This one definitely is Scarecrow. Okay, then I forget. I think I can get a barracks. Do we want a... regular soldiers? I suppose so. Got a lot of archers. I think just the regular knights are the way to go on this one. Anti-air mill would be good on the other side of the map. Yeah. We should probably expand that one tremendously. Let's see. You can press alt to see the buildings? Huh. Don't do that. They are killing me. I forgot that these things actually fight back occasionally. But I think we're good. All right, cool. Is this the wave with the flyers? No, it's not. Bunch of archers. Bunch of archers, bunch of soldiers. I don't really want to do any of that. Um. Let's see, do we want to grab hunters? Fast and effective against monsters. Decent self-defense. I think the hunters are maybe not the right call here, but they're going to be closer to the enemy group. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, unfortunately, I think my hunters are going to just get killed here. They're very short range. Which is maybe not great. At least my knights are reasonably resistant against range. Okay. I was just thinking that hunter group should be pretty good against the monsters that come from the south and head for the gates. But I think I'd just go for longbowmen in the future. Well, too late. 
It'd be kind of nice if you could pay like a gold or two to swap a structure so it produces different units. All right, so here come the flyers. But we kind of knew that was going to happen. Boost that. And can I upgrade you? Yes. Not the most worth it. But I think we'll be fine here. We've got very good anti-air. Unfortunately, I'm useless on this, but the hunters should completely destroy these guys. Yeah, the, the anti-air fields are really good. Okay. So just 30 soldiers. I think... Yeah, let's... Oh, nope. Not just 30 soldiers. We do have a bunch of runners. Because let's move these guys up. Let's see. Eight... Get some more knights. Move them here. Yeah, do we get some fields down or no? Let's just max out our houses. Because the fields are slightly better than a house, but only slightly. Okay. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna hope the hunters have a decent shot at the the monsters. I have to keep an eye on it. I'm not seeing any hunters getting spawned, so that's usually a good sign. Yeah, I think they're shredding them. But I don't think the Hunters were actually a bad call on this map. I think they were just a bad call for the wave that I got them on. Because it seems like they just completely mulched every single monster up here without breaking a sweat. Okay, I got 40. I Let's start with going this. We need some more tower slots. Plus, make me stronger. Next order of business. What do we do? that mill. Wait, did that not give me any more field slots? What? That's unfortunate. Okay. I guess in that case... Oh, you know what I should do? Get over here. Vulnerable against ranged units. Armored against ranged attacks. Bonus against ranged units. Less effective against flyers. You know what? I don't think we need to worry about flyers on that side as much. Let's just do that. So I'm going to try and tank the... Um... Oh, you know what? I forgot to do. I really wish this game had control groups, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I forgot to bring those in. The anti the anti air capabilities of these farms made this makes this map a lot easier. Yeah, I should get that 
mill the mill over here down. I might have it uh have the wind spirits. Maybe I shouldn't have done that at all here. That's a lot of boys. Uh, let's see, we do have another barracks with lads. Extra damage against fast enemies, slow them down. Not good against ranged units. Flails. It's a lot of guys. Or just more knights. We already have knights, so let's go for spears. I'm just going to build those anyway. Hope it survives. Same thing with up here. Okay. Put them there. That's a lot of lads. Still put the hunters here. Uh, we do have a bunch of towers. So I think that's going to be my solution on this end. So in that case, I'm um, I'm just gonna put those guys there. Got eleven left. I can do three, and then we can get some more crossbowmen. So I'm just I'm just gonna have a a fight cloud up here. I'm gonna try and solo somewhat down here. And then hope the fight cloud can mostly handle. Oops, didn't work. I'm hoping the fight cloud can mostly handle all the enemies that come kind of at this angle. Yeah, the problem with leaving the hunters slightly behind is the hunters are actually very, um, uh, very short range, which is a bit of an issue. They don't actually, they don't do that well. In, I don't want to say melee combat, because they actually have extra defense against melee enemies. It's just the ranged ones that are the issue. Okay, so that's Holden. Top's a bit of a concern. But it's mostly the big bruisies that I'm going to have trouble with. Okay, he's done. They're solid. This is not. However, reinforcements have more or less just arrived. I think we're good. I think that was it, actually. Nice and easy. Okay. So now what? Bunch of archers coming from that direction. Let's see. I guess I might as well come up here. Upgrade that. So we got a wall, we got a wall. We've got a couple of house spots, which, yeah. All things considered, I should probably upgrade all of my houses before it gets too late. That's a tower. We can leave that for later. And yeah, I, I probably should have focused a little bit harder on Econ earlier. But this way we're functionally maxed out. I have just enough for a smidge more. What do we do? I need 16 if I want to upgrade that. I could upgrade the walls here a bit more. No, I think what we do is we actually upgrade this this tower. Because I could upgrade this tower to be a ballista. Or, because we've got a lot of friends, let's do a hot oil right there. Let's go with that.
In retrospect, I forgot to bring these guys out. Also, hot oil... Ooh, maybe fine. Alright, you know what's more productive? I should be out here. Until they start killing me. At which point I should not be here anymore. Yeah, so the lower one works really well as hot oil. It doesn't work so hot... Uh, on the upper one. Because they all seem to go for the lower section just in general. Okay. Yeah, we got 13 gold from enemies on that round. Ah... Uh, and now here's the easy round. So we don't have to do... So actually upgrading all of those houses there was kind of worthless. Oh well. Well, all things considered, best thing I can possibly do for myself, upgrade every single unit production structure. And yeah, we have enough. We have enough for everything. The extra towers are good, don't get me wrong, but just having oodles of guys that can just fight Cloud is better. Well, I could have gotten another house down. Oh well, too late. I do like the whole kind of like second to last night. Uh you know, now now this is when you need to care about things being spooky. So what do we upgrade this one into? I think this one has to be iron plates. It's going to get it's going to get hit by some rocks. This should be a ballista. I think this should be a ballista. Oh, we didn't have enough for more. I suppose I will upgrade this tower after all. Okay, let's just grab my generalized light cloud back here and bring him out. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put him up here. Oh, I could have upgraded this wall. Oops. That's what I should have done. Oh, well. I'm going to try very hard to kill the ballistas. Because if there are no ballistas, there is no threat. Or not ballistas, catapults. There we go. Well, I think we're good. If we mulched that group that hard. Yeah, I could have I could have done this just a little bit better, uh, specifically by getting those houses down sooner, uh, and maybe focusing a little bit less on defenses. But on the flip side, whatever. I'm just I I think every once in a while a ballista hits a catapult and the catapult just goes down. Okay, got a bunch of flyers up here. But I don't think I need to care. Oh, they did they did take out the ballistas. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a perfect win on days like today. That's that's a supremely tall order. But I think I can do incredibly well. That is hot oil work. Only if the enemies are actually at the base of the tower. That's that's when it works. I don't think I like it that much. I was hoping we could get like a cannon tower. Where are my foes? I conjured them. that I'm in like a whole lot of danger of dying here, but even then. 
still prefer not to spend 10 seconds just watching a thing countdown. Okay. And that's it. Victory. Unfortunately, that only gets us a crown. Good score, though. Challenge the Falcon God. Enemies are faster, but you gain more point, points in EXP if you win. Uh, oh. Magic armor gives you a massive amount of health, and enemies take damage when attacking you. Oh, and that's maybe our next perk point. Magic armor. That could be fun. Uh, well, do we go frosty? Yeah, what are our... Oh, God. Let's go back for a hot second. My high score on this is 6,000. Friends rank number three. Eh, I could probably get above that without too much effort. Looks like this one, though. I don't know. I think I'm going to leave leave this for a bit. I guess we could do Sword and Snake. Sword and Snake feel somewhat doable. Not Turtle, though. Oh, gosh. Turtle would wreck me. Uh, oh, and you do get... It's actually exponential scaling. There is also the option of going for, like, Warhorse and just upgrading myself a bunch, but I don't think I want that. Yeah. Let's go with this. Oh, wait. Which weapon do I have? I didn't check the... Oh, no, I, we do have the sword. Okay, good. Oh... You know what sucks? I don't actually have enough money for the mine. So maybe the architect's thing is not really worth it. Okay. Get them down here. Because, yeah, if they don't go for that house. I want them to go for me. Yeah, I don't think the architect... Architect's Council is actually worth it. At least not on this one. So we're gonna... We're gonna reset. The problem with going architect is you. Oh, I guess I could have kept going and try, tried to get that. Oh well, too late. Uh, t -t 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 -t. uh, so the problem is if you cannot fund that mine early, there's no point in having it, um, or going for it at least. I could do the royal mint. The problem is I bet there's some really good perks down here, but I haven't unlocked them yet. I mean, I could try the Warhorse. Let's try the Warhorse. Let's see how that goes. There's a lot of enemies I'd like to be able to run over. Alright. Should be good. Oh boy, and we really are faster. It's about as good as an attack. That's interesting. The problem is I'm going to be so incredibly hamstrung here financially. Wow, that works. Okay. I'd like to get that dock down, but I'm going to need this tower. We'll just get another house. Yep. 
Yeah, crossbowmen kind of hurt. Freaking tower just tanks it for me. Okay. I think we're host. Eh, we'll see. I'll get the dock down. It's just the, the lack of money is uh, brutal. Okay. No, I think we're good, actually. I have to watch my HP a bit. But I can at least go through these monster groups. We'll see what happens. Worst comes to worst, we fail, but we get another perk or something. Okay. We get four coins from that. Yeah, we're going to need, like, every house. And I'm probably still going to lose. Okay. I have no idea if I do damage based on speed or anything, but I figure if I just keep looping around these guys... I'll have a chance. Not a huge one. Okay, none of that you- No! I needed that. The loss of funding is brutal. This ain't gonna go well for me either. I should have I should have waited on that upgrade. Oh, but we had nothing I could have built except for maybe some archers. That would have been the trick. Poor house. I think I just need some econ perks if I'm going to be doing this specific challenge. At least we only lost a house. Uh, let's see. A melee type. And then archers. I guess all things considered. We're just going to get some knights down. They're probably the solution here. Uh, let's see. Beyond that... Start working in these houses? I don't know what else to do about it. But yeah. I think barracks at start could work better. I'd have no money, though. Okay. I don't... I don't still have turtle on. But yeah, I have to go houses first. Out and I'm dead again. Okay. Ooh. Run. Don't kill. Do not kill. And I'm dead again. Pipes. Even with the first upgrade, it's still extremely painful. At least my knights more or less just tank them. And then I can come back and boogeyman them. Don't kill my dog. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm just going to resign. I don't want to say that this is a waste of time, but uh, we are... not getting far. But I can bring another perk with me, so that's going to be huge. There's also a Viking thing, which I'm curious to see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll come back to this one later when I can e econ better. I can do this one, I'm sure. Because it's just victory with snake, which is doable. Okay, anything else? No. We'll go back to this one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold up, I'm a fool. I can fit another perk on. See, spearmen might have been better. Spearmen are weak to range, so no. No, spear spearmen would have gotten bodied. Okay, so I can fit a third perk here. What do we want to grab? Warhorse was funny, but I don't think I care for it. Um, honestly, probably just Royal Mint. There's the Architect's Council if I wanted to get a bunch of farms down really fast. I don't think we need that. Let's let's just go for the overall funding. Did I start with a lot more money on this? Or am I woefully mistaken? No, I think this is the usual amount. Boy, that just means you start the ice zone with, like, nothing. Oof. But yeah, knight, knights have ranged damage resistance. So they're very much worth pursuing. Uh, especially in a fight like that. My problem is I just did not have enough money. And... There was almost no way for me to overcome that. I think we just need to unlock a lot more perks. Uh, specifically perks that affect income. Okay, so we've got 10 gold. I think I'm just going to get the two mines down. Bring these lads with me. Oh, right. Get that mine, build this wall, and then get a house. There we go. And yeah, my, my spearmen should make very short work of just those basic soldiers. Maybe I'm fine, actually. Maybe, maybe I didn't actually need to build the wall in the end. You need to build the wall if it's, if you're on, uh, if you've got the turtle mutator. This still would have been hard to control. All right, I'm going to go with the wall was a good good choice. Okay, 17. I think next order of business, upgrade self, probably just go royal training. Go get that other mine down. Let's see. Build this. Uh, start on the farm? Yeah. We don't have to worry about air units, so we're just going to go for money. Okay, I'm pretty sure these, these guys can take out a group of horsemen on their own. Let's just put them there. The archers are the concern. I think I'll be okay. I always forget about the archers up up in this section. Okay, I survived it, barely. Right, and they don't have the turtle upgrade, so we're actually in a much better spot. They didn't they don't do more damage. Oh gosh. There is the difficulty mutator so that they do more damage though. Yeah, I think I'm gonna want more perks before I can do deal with that. 
Okay, 10 archers. Well, easy solution is, that's an archery range, barracks. Let's get some knights down. We're just going to bring them up here. We'll give them a tower to help. Okay, do I have all three all three of these? Two gold mines, upper and middle on the first round. Can solo kite the horses easy? Maybe. Right. That's what I was going to do. I'm going to start putting some fields down. Um, Great, that's some more. I could. I guess it's a fine investment point. The question is, do we want to get archers? Yes. I think I'm just going to keep doing longbow archers. Okay, put them there. Because I think I'm going to grab this entire mess. And bring them out here with me. I guess I'll put them there. I think the knights can handle the 10 archers. I guess we'll find out. Oops. Bad if I die. Wait for a second. All right. There we go. I'm just going to keep kind of kind of careful here. I think they've got it at this point. I'm just going to double check. Nope, we're good. We're very good. Okay, and then we've got the explodey boys. So, I think the solution there is once again, just get a bunch of these. Another tower? Yeah. The knights are just slow walking back because they are very slow. Yep, they're very slow. Actually, in retrospect, I'm going to put the archers here. We want the knights to be kind of in front. It should be an easy crowd. I don't think I'm going to care too much. Uh, we've got a lot of the urchins, but... Especially without the bonus HP, they're not that difficult. Let's see. Let's just start getting a bunch of arms down. Especially while this area is reasonably safe. Bought this game today because of your vids. It's a really good game. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, put them there. And then I'm going to be all the way out here so I can hopefully intercept the first. Wait, I have two gold left. No sense in wasting that. Yep. The warp between the mines is a little disorienting. All right, let's do this. Oof. Stay away from that. Mulch these things, then stay away before it explodes. Unfortunately, I'm going to be losing some longbowmen here, but that's fine. They knew what they signed up for. Alright. 20 dudes, 30 archers. Yeesh.
Okay, so in that case, let's um get some more knights. I mean, 30 archers is not actually that bad. I think I will get the wall. We mostly want to spend a lot of our money upgrading our farms up here. Because if I can get these down and maxed out really early in this run, uh, I'm going to be an extremely wealthy individual by the end of it. I probably should have actually spent that extra money to upgrade that. Eh, that's fine. Okay, then we've got just 12 of the little bunch beasts. I think these guys should be able to handle it, no problem. I'll just stick them up here and hope for the best. A good, easy econ round, yeah. Alright, I'll go help with the archers. Okay, that hurt. Oh, I cannot... I cannot tank 30 archers simultaneously. It turns out that is, uh, very risky. That said, they all spawned, like, at once, so it's pretty easy to clear them and then move on. Yeah, it looks like we're good. Alright. So 12 horsemen. That one, ah, this is a tough, tough set of decisions here. I think what I'm going to do, possibly erroneously, upgrade a couple of things. Actually, you know what I should do? I should upgrade myself at this point. So magic armor. Enemies that deal damage to you take a part of that damage themselves. So, and a lot of it. Ooh. Ooh, this is tough. I like the idea of magic armor, but I don't think it's the call on this round. I think magic armor is going to be an incredible upgrade for the ice zone. But here... No, I think I want to do more hit-and-run stuff. Let's just go Royal Mastery. Okay. Let's see. Oh. I'm gonna... I'm gonna trust my dudes, actually. It's Econ here. Because we still have, what, two fields to build up there, but otherwise that's a huge, huge money upgrade to get this round. I know I can handle the uh, spike balls pretty easily. These guys shouldn't have too much trouble with 12 archers and 3 beefmen. I hope. Let's get down here. Because the trick is, I blow the first one up on myself. I heal off of this one, and then I'm solid for this, and then I can leave. Alright, I think we're good. Oh, it's a big chunkus. Big chunkus, you do not touch my farm. That is illegal. Thank you. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, trust in my troops. Worked out. Okay, so they're leaving this one alone. That means, oh god, look at that econ just fly in. Let's just do that now. Um, hmm. So this one's a question. I guess actually, econ for nope, econ first. I have so much money, but I need more. That ain't econ. This is econ. Uh, 
Okay, so we've, I think, maxed out almost everything. There's, like, a couple of house spots. So I've got quite the army here. I guess I should take them and put them at the farms. I don't think that had... Nope. Couple more fields. And yeah, we've got some towers. I want to say these guys shouldn't have too much trouble, but I'll give them a second tower anyway. Alright, let's take a look at this. Three coins are going to small wall make my archers that much more effective. I think it's worth it. Grab these guys. Move them over here. Oh, we do have one more house spot at least. I think that side's going to be fine. The real question is here. Then again, it's only 12 soldiers. I, I think what I'm going to do is we're just going to upgrade this wall to maximum. There. I think that'll be fine. I guess I might as well be out here. Because I want to do a lot of damage to Big Boy. Because if I can get him near down, then... I mean, the rest of these guys are going to fold near instantly. Okay. That hurt, but it didn't hurt too much. Oop. There we go. And easy. Okay. Horses, horses, and more horses. That's a lot of money. Uh, that's, that's a lot of money. So in that case, I guess let's start upgrading some of our walls. And some of our troops. Right. And I'm not going to forget about this tower this time around. Let's max out our barracks first. Because just having a liquid supply of... Uh, of... Soldiers? Li Sorry, I was just thinking of liquid soldiers and how that's suddenly kind of weird. Okay, let's just let's just boost these. I don't think I need to upgrade the wall for this. We'll just we'll just have a bunch of really beefy towers. Alright, snag the lads. Put them here. They should have no trouble keeping that down. We do have one more tower spot, but eh. Okay, back up here. I might as well move the spearmen kind of down to this pass. Oh, there's a speed trap here. I should consider building that. Okay. I'm going to assume these guys might be fine. I'm going to take a couple of these archers here, just for my own purposes. Because they do have a wall, yeah? I think they'll be fine. I was worried about Econ for this one, since we've got, you know, the snake debuff going. But, uh, I think my worries were misplaced. I wonder if this game will get mod support. It's unlikely, but I could actually see modding getting kind of fun. I, 
it gives me very strong StarCraft custom map vibes, and I really like the idea of potentially, like, screwing around with it a little bit. And having, like, um... I don't know. Just a space marine as just, like, a unit that you can get. Like, the final barracks upgrade just unifies them all into one just extremely chunky dude. Okay, it seems like this area is still... Nope, we're good. Alright, so how much money is that? Because I'm betting it's a lot. Oh! <laughs> is a lot of money. Alright, so we've maxed out all of that. I guess let's max out our walls next. Might as well get a ballista out here. For both of these. Let's see. Go all the way down here. We got a pair of speed traps. I might as well use them. Let's see. Is it worth... I'll have this one be the iron plate. I'll have this one be iron plated, but I think this might actually be better as a ballista. This one should be iron plated. The catapults really like to aim for those, and so I might as well have them be chunked up and ready to go. I'm just going to dump those guys in the field as usual. Uh, let's see, do we want to start upgrading this one? Eh, a little. I think this might actually be the first time I ever fully max out a region. Oops. So is there a place where I can watch the full VOD later? Here, actually. Um I don't I don't delete my VODs off of uh YouTube. So if you just look at my live page, it'll just be there forever. I guess I could have actually upgraded those two houses, but whatever. Um I'm gonna assume they're they're going to be fine. They're gonna be fine. Oh, right, the explodey balls show up, like, right at the end. They're kind of the, uh, coup de gras, interestingly enough. But yeah, every, every single one of my YouTube live streams, uh, henceforth will actually just be, um, public forever. Unless I have some very specific reason to take them down. Uh, so if you ever see me playing through a game on stream, you don't actually have to worry about missing it, because the VOD will just remain. Oh, they got wrecked. That was good. Alright. I do wish there was kind of like a Gatling turret. Well, maybe that's going to be the number four option. Because the ballistas are good, but I want something that's better dealing with trash mobs. Uh, yeah, I got plenty of money. We might as well go... Absolutely silly with some of this. Grab these lads. That yeah, easy win. I like this map. It is uh it is definitely the most scalable if you know what you're doing. I guess I'll put them behind the wall. I still think on some of the later challenge levels it's gonna get a little little spicy. Okay, let's hold off on that for a bit. I should probably get this wall down, just in case stupid things happen. Speed trap there. Next wall there. And another speed trap, just because. Cool. Then I guess I got two gold, so I suppose I'll upgrade one of these houses? I don't know. I guess I could have saved it, but it's fine. I would love to be able to customize some of these unit spawns. Putting those guys near the gate just feels kind of silly to me. Considering I need to have them be along the stone path. 
I think that area is going to be good. So let's let's fight the uh, the big lads. 11 out of 12. So I guess upgrading that house was kind of meaningless. Oh well. Yeah, I think I think I'm going to try and get all of the challenges done on the earlier levels before we deal with Snowland. Uh just because Snowland is just is just stinky. And it's going to be hard for me to deal with. I'm still slightly uh shocked that this game is only um seven bucks. Whoa, my cape got screwed up. It is stuck in my horse. <laughs> I was like, why does my horse, why is my horse a polygon? I, that's really funny to look at. All right, so I've got oodles of money. I think we can upgrade every single one of them. And since this is the last day, uh, no, let's do, let's do blisses. I think they'll have enough range. Okay, did I, yep, I did upgrade that one. I think there's maybe like a little, ah, balls. I think there's a little bit left up top that I haven't upgraded yet. But I think this is the first time I will, uh, I have ever maxed out an entire region. I feel like there should be an achievement for that. Oh. No, we're going to be just shy. There's a... Uh... One tower spot here that I haven't dealt with. Uh, no, no, no. I think we'll have enough. Just barely. There. I literally cannot put more money into this, and I have one gold to spare. Unless there's something I've missed. Everything has been upgraded to its absolute maximum. I think I'm just going to leave the top spot to its own devices. I think I'm going to have to defend up here. Oh, my, uh, my horse polygon is reset. Wow, ballistas really do have massive range. Considering the ballista on top of this hill was in fact shooting into the other battlefield. I could have allocated my troops better, but I just don't think I need to care. I'm not even sure if I need to do much of anything here. Yeah, no, I think I think that's good. Hey lads, how do you feel about fighting something? Cuz this is like the one area that's going to have some issues. And even then, I think if I kill all of these archers, like in this group, the ballistas will just clean them up. I haven't maxed everything yet. Oh, what did I miss? Yeah, I think they got it. Unless I missed, like, a uh, bit of farmland. Because yeah, the Ballista Towers just completely smoke those guys. Oh. I guess... I guess the wall up here fell. Just by a smidge. I guess if I had stayed instead of wandering around, I probably could have actually had a perfect night. The bottom tower. Huh? That one's maxed. No, these are all maxed. That's maxed. That's maxed. Those are maxed. Those are maxed. Two towers to the left side. No. No, those are maxed. Like the, these are the ironclad ones. So no, I, I did in fact max everything. Like unless I miss some farmland or a build spot. No, further down. These are maxed too. Unless there is more towers that literally I have never seen before. Far bottom left. With like even further here? No. Like 
Like, do you mean the any of these towers? Because all of these are maxed. Every single one of these towers are maxed. Do, do not argue with me on whether or not my maxed out towers are maxed or not. I'm mostly asking if there's something that I've missed. Yeah, it's because they look different. Yeah. See, there's a speed trap at the bottom. And I built it. I, I did build the speed trap at the bottom. It just got destroyed. So yeah, I, I don't think there was anything else that I could have built there. Okay. Berserfs? Melee units. Okay, Berserks. Sorry, that is a weird K. I have a high attack damage and like to focus on siege engines or other large targets. I like that. Deal more damage, but you have much less HP. Permanently unlock a new castle, level 2 castle center. If you lock onto a target, it receives more damage from all sources. Ooh. All right. We're at four out of six on those. Let me think. Uh, let's see. So my next, my next couple involve, I mean, mostly just, actually enemies being a lot faster isn't really that much of an issue. Do we want to try it? I'm going to leave those, I'm going to leave it behind. We'll come back to Dern, Dernstein or whatever it is. This one is victory with snake. Oh, that's easy enough. And then turtle and wolf. I guess let's just do that. Now, the one option we do have, Royal Mint isn't very good. We could do Bow, Glass Cannon. Sure, why not? Let's see what, let's see what happens. Okay, so this is going to have to be my last map, unfortunately. Maybe, I don't know. I might do like one more afterwards uh because yeah i've got to do a thing at four and i'd like to eat beforehand how much is significantly lower hp oh that is significant so i might not actually be able to use my dagger on this one last cannon assassin i'm just not sure if that's worth it is i guess the thing i would say Eating is overrated. I like to eat at least once every six hours most of the time. Uh, especially if I'm going to be recording with friends. Like, if I'm really hungry, I either get kind of irritable or I stop talking because I'm too distracted. Like, even right now, I'm I'm just a little on the distracted side. Um, and it could be a smidge better. Okay. No, I think I'm just going to keep getting the houses down. Okay. We've got these lads. Yeah, so I guess I'd, I'm just going to hit and run with my dagger. Ouch. I think we'll be fine. I don't think they're going to take out the tower. Okay, I was wrong about that, but otherwise I was fine. A lot of archers. Alright, this is going to be where I need the HP. If you lock in a target, more damage from all sources. I like the idea of that, but only in the ice realm. I think we want to just go royal training. Assassin's training is just going to get me killed. It's going to be funny, but it's just going to wreck me. Okay, where are they coming from? Ah, I guess if I had gotten the assassin's training, I might have been able to one-shot these guys, which would have actually been really worth it. Also, if I could dodge arrows. But unfortunately, arrows home in, 
Which, I mean, it makes sense. Otherwise, my superior maneuverability would make it really difficult for anything to hit me ever. All right. We've got a bunch of rolly boys. We're going to need the walls. Yeah, I, I suppose... I'm just going to keep investing in houses. Much as I want to get those farms down. I almost kind of wish I could set some of my priorities, like only target highest HP or highest max HP. Because I'm noticing I'm wasting a couple of shots here and there because I'm competing with a tower. I don't even know how to lock in an attack. There we go. Now I think it's Flyer Wave. No, it's not. It's Archer Wave. Okay. I've got nine. I think I'm going to get the improved plow. That's an archery range. I think we're going to just go for the barracks. We're going to want our knights. There we go. Hey, I love your content. Yeah, welcome in. Guess I should drink some water. Okay, did we do anything else? Yes, I have two coins. Let's just go for that. Yeah, because I should do enough damage that I can kind of chew through these guys. And if we get that last, uh, if we get that last town upgrade, I should be able to do more. Ooh, I should get the berserkers. Not for this group, but for uh, for the next barracks. That wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. Whoops. Oh, you can outrun arrows. You just have to go running really far. That windmill will survive, or maybe. And nice part is, since I have a bow on this one, I should have no trouble uh, against the flying groups as much. I always get longbow. I really like spear. Okay, it's flyer time. Oh, did I set this? Oh, I set this one not for anti-air. Because I am a thunderhead. All right, we'll, we'll just get the longbows. I mean, on the flip side, lots of lots of money. And yeah, we're just going to chew through these guys like nothing. Because yeah, I one-shot every single one of them. Well, I guess I'll keep that in mind for the future. a lot of enemies. Ugh. I'll build that. Uh, let's see. I guess let's just upgrade the houses so we don't have to worry about it too much. Yeah, unfortunately, I haven't quite econed as hard as I would normally like. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put these guys on the road here. And we're just gonna hope that my superior firepower can kind of carry me through. I guess I'm just gonna hang out here. It's interesting that those oh gosh. Assassin bugs. nearly killed me 
just for trying to get in and get a stab at it. I'm curious if you could do like a heavy armor glass cannon warhorse build. My farms. Hopefully the field still pays out. Let's find out. It does. Okay, so the field pays out even if uh, everything else is scuffed. I don't have enough money for that. I'm just going to get all of those. Might be a mistake. Who knows? I'm going to put these guys over here. All right. Hey, can I build another house back there? Probably, yeah. I'm pretty sure the big guys can just one-shot me. But I think we're good. Hit him with a stab. Didn't feel like my dagger did as much damage as I, as I was hoping for. I think we're good. Yeah, I can use the dagger to lash, last hit a lot of enemies. Or get them incredibly low. Also, the dagger has a super short cooldown. Okay, there's some money. Do we upgrade that? I think... Kind of. Yeah. Yeah, I should. Okay, we don't want magic armor on this one. So once again, I think I'm just going to put my guys... Uh, here-ish? Hereabouts? And I'm just going to be up here, hopefully finishing these guys off. At least I one-shot every single soldier I hit. The only issue is my lack of uh, attack speed. Even then, I think we'll be okay. okay. Nope. There it goes. Yeah, tower will go down, but otherwise it's not a problem. The lack of money. You wouldn't think about it that much, but it is um, really problematic. I think also my inability uh, to tank things is something that uh, I think makes glass cannon not worth it. That this way I cannot act as a mobile wall. Oh no, my econ. I'm going to stick it out, but that might actually have been a loss. I lost so much there. Uh, let's see. Do we want Scarecrows? Do we want Wind Spirits? Yeah, it should have been down low, but I, I think I'm still going to stand by. It's kind of fun to glass cannon uh, and just do as much damage as I currently do. But yeah, my inability to body block is killer. Yeah, we're on night 11 out of 13, and I haven't even built my second farm. Well... We'll lose, we'll get a bunch of points, we'll try it again. I won't be a glass cannon, and I should have much easier, a much easier time. I 
guess maybe I can, in fact, body block. I don't know. Let's see. I mean, we're okay here. At least that's a decent chunk of money, but... Ugh. Oh, I am... I am beyond doomed. And who knows, maybe I'll be able to make it work. Let's upgrade my wall here. Get another tower down. Only problem with the glass cannon is you need more damage. I mean, it was attack speed was my problem. But I guess I one-shot most of my regular enemies. But that only does so much for me. Uh, bu 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 bu. I can't upgrade the walls anymore. Upgrade that. Upgrade that. Upgrade that. Yeah, I didn't even get all my houses down. Oof. Or even half of my tower is up to maximum. All right. This is beyond scuffed. Here, let's uh snag these guys. We're going to bring them up. We might be able to pull it off anyway, but it is, it is definitely going to be one of the more uh, brutal nights. Yeah, they took out the two frontal towers right off the bat. Ouch. And dead. Ouch. Why is, he, is he, why is he so weak last day? I was never able to get my econ out, and we're running on a snake modifier. So... Enemies uh, don't drop gold. At least they don't drop much gold. It'd be interesting to try this. Yeah, go glass cannon, but gl go warhorse. As oh, that is the one tactic I should try. Maybe at some point. Because uh, I wonder if I had uh, glass cannon, armor, warhorse... Maybe Assassin, maybe not. Um, but just spec really hard for, for damage. And, uh, actually see if I can, um... Oh yeah, we are, we are hosed. They're, they're in the walls. I don't think there's much I can do about it. We might be beyond lucky here, but it, I'm not betting on it. I... <laughs> a win is a win. Oh no, there's more. Okay. If I can pull this off with that sliver of HP, uh, I'm going to be happy regardless of what happens. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread king. Your arrows can only fly so far. We succeeded with almost nothing. <laughs> Oh man, that's even a decent high score, all things considered. Big harbors, ooh. Fishing harbors have capacity for two additional fishing boats and are more resistant to enemy attacks. Yup, that's good. 
Uh, let's see. Fire archers set the ground. Oh, ground around their targets on fire, dealing damage over time. Bonus damage against siege engines. Those are huge. Okay. Could we not lose on that? I have no idea, man. So what is the next one? Enemies do more damage. And have more health. That could be rough. Let's see, what was this one? Enemies are faster and do more damage. Or, we did just get a pair of really good upgrades. The problem is, almost all of these achievements are probably going to be... Im I don't want to say impossible, but... I think we're going to try it. So we get big harbors. We don't need pumpkin fields. I probably just want the Royal Mint. Because I like the idea of the War Horse, but I I don't think I need it. So let's, let's go Royal Mint. Because <clears throat> that'll get us the extra money that we desperately, desperately need. Okay, and then I can get almost nothing. We'll just get two houses down. I'm a fool. We're going to resign. I'm not going to bother with the houses. We are going to get the dock. And remember time. Yep. No, this will this will be my last uh last round for the day. I'd like to keep playing, but uh I don't know if you can hear but my voice is a little rough. Okay, so this is going to hurt financially. Okay, I'm gonna try and guide guide these. Okay, perfect. I can kite them very slowly away. What do I think my chances are? No, I need this tower down. Yeah, the problem with the dock is you don't actually even get paid until your second day. So I think you do want to go for those two houses early. And then switch the dock, maybe. Okay, we get that and we get a house. Ugh, this is a rough start. I know Wander's gonna go off and play Baldur's Gate 3. Nope. No, I've got a I've got an NDA game that I can't talk about. Uh that me and the wholesome verse are all gonna be playing. Uh, not the whole wholesome verse, just like six of us, give or take. I don't know if I need I needed this tower on that last wave, but I need it now. Like really bad. Uh, let's see. So I don't have anything better. We could get the archers down. But I think I'm going to... Oh, no, I can't. I can't even afford it. I think I'll just get the ha mm, houses. Houses for now. Like, I, maybe I could manage this without the tower, but the tower gives me that little bit of extra damage and relief. Because this way the blob monsters are mostly only hitting... Hitting the tower. Okay, there we go, and they're just heading for the main base, which I can deal with. What do we do? I think we have to get this down. 
go royal training. Because that way I can upgrade this on the next day and make a lot more money. Yeah, the problem is I need to kill that battering ram. I think we got it. All right, cool. Because, yeah, if it wrecks my harbor, we make no money. And that's uh, genuinely disastrous for me. Let's upgrade the harbor. Doubles our income. And then we're going to get these. I think I have to go for the longbow archers. I don't have a choice. At least for these guys. Next group will be fire archers. All right. Anything else? No. If I had a bow, this wouldn't be a problem, but I have to have a sword for this round. And honestly, I think just this... Well, I don't know, actually. Because I, I suppose I could have potentially just ignored that one and hoped to survive. Okay, so we have a lot of... We have a lot of these. Nope. I'm going to start putting these down. They might not survive, but they'll pay for themselves. Here's the question. Oh, yeah. Do I want flails? I think we have to. Okay, and I'll get one tower, tower down. And a house, and a house. That's the best I've got. So let's pull everybody over at the very least. Kind of leave them here. And I'm dead. They do so much damage. I guess this is the point I'm supposed to have... Um, That's rough. I'm, I'm supposed to have knights to deal with those guys. But I need the flaily boys. At least the tower here seemed to have done quite a number on them. So actually, no losses. Oh, that was rough though. But yeah, if we only lose a tower for this, then that's a that's a huge perk. Okay, now I think it's like super slime wave. Yeah. I've got 22. Uh, do we want to do a, another barracks? Yeah. More flails. do we want to do beyond that? Oh, is there a wall? No, we've got to upgrade one more time to get the wall. But I do have a lot of towers. Oh, we do... You know what? We have one other option, actually. Alright. Let's get these guys down. Look at the fire archers. I think 
I think this group, I mean, we're almost a 50-50 mix, so I don't think we should have too much trouble. At this moment. Uh, let's see, so I've still got 14. So let's upgrade as many houses as we can, because we are in desperate need of more money. Yeah, spend the rest on houses, that's the plan. There. That should wildly offset a lot of our problems. Okay, so the one immediate problem is these guys are just going to go straight for my base. I kind of forgot about that part. I think we'll be fine. They do damage to it. But not that much. Oh, wow. Got hammered. Okay. So big issue, we do have a bunch of flyers coming this direction. Uh, let's see. That's Flaley, boys. I think my best bet is probably to just scatter a bunch of towers all around. This only has two boats. I think that should keep it going. Uh, so let's spend the rest on houses. Because, boy, you can fit a lot more houses onto this map than I think you can. Okay, that should be my longbowmen. Unfortunately, this harbor here is probably the most undefended out of all of them. I'd like it to live. Okay. I think we're good. Unfortunately, this is one of those rounds where I can't do too much. I mostly just have to wait and watch. Oh, uh, I don't know. Yeah. It was worth a shot. Maybe if I had another tower or two in the area. Let's see, what about the mine? So here's the problem. It's going to get destroyed. Like, immediately. Okay, I'm going to bring these guys over. I'm going to put them here. I'm going to get a couple more. Uh, let's see. One, I think I can double that one. Do I want to boost myself? No, you know what? That can be done next round. Let's get all of my houses maxed. Oh, and before I forget... Get that defense upgrade. There. So, we can fit what? At least two more houses up in this upper section and then a little bit more the other direction. Um, this is mostly my flail boys. I don't know. There's some longbowmen mixed in there. really wish I could kind of sort based on that, but whatever. Uh, I'm hoping the fire archers... And the better towers uh, do a number on these guys as they pass by. Unfortunately, they seem to be pretty, pretty committed to um, getting closer, which is a little bit of an unfortunate situation. Still, hopefully, we can just do some horrible things with fire. Boy, those big guys are very committed to taking me out. I 
think we'll be okay. Ah, there I go. But yeah, I've got just enough guys rolling in that they should be able to just kind of meet wall. And the fire does a decent, decent job against crowds. Not quite as good as I would have liked it to. But I bet the fire is going to be rather good against bosses. It's good against siege engines. Okay, where are we at? So financially, we're doing rather well. Still not perfect, but rather well. I guess at this point, I should upgrade myself. And I think I'm actually going to do magic armor. Do the weird thing. Yeah, let's just get a couple of towers down, and then let's max out every house before I do anything else. You can fit so many houses in here. Holy smokes, go figure I've always had econ issues. I've never invested in the correct thing. But yeah, let's let's just snag all of these lads. I think they do sometimes go around and take the long way around. I think we'll be fine if they do that. All right, I'm just going to tell them all to like wait right here. We only have two more knights, so no more no more econ for me. It is all towers and upgrades all the time. I feel so bad for that harbor. Like, it's paying for itself, but only just barely. I think it's just genuinely not worth the time or effort. Boy, I am very vulnerable to flyers. They got what? Two houses? Two houses. Yeah, not the greatest. Okay, I'm going to... Let's double check a thing. Is this worth it? I just don't know if it is. I don't know if we can get it fully upgraded in time. Let's see. Anything else for it? No. But I think I'm going to take a substantial chunk of this horde and put them out here. These guys might be fine. So the reason why I don't want to do too many barracks upgrades and I want to upgrade towers is because towers uh, towers are really good against the boss. I need both. Really, I need like one more day. Okay, I think these guys have that covered. I'm going to get over here. Right, and I've got magic armor, so I don't actually do that much damage, but I do tank reasonably well. And I think my healing is based on a percentage per second, so I can just hammer them.
Yeah, this one's tough. We need to upgrade these two walls. No doubt about that. We want to upgrade every single tower at least once in here. I would like a ballista, but I think we're just going to have to upgrade this instead. I think we were just shy on my financial targets here. Let's see, do we have any other towers I can upgrade? Uh, well, I could build and upgrade that one once, but I don't think it's worth it. Okay, so this one's tough. I don't think I'm going to split my guys at all. Or, I kind of do. I want this group to hang out near the fire archers, because if we lose them, I'm going to be sad. They're very valuable. Okay. And if I remember right, he attacks on the right side first. So I'm going to take these guys out. Oh, right. There are some spots down here for building. What? Oh, that's interesting. This is like a little fight camp down here. Too bad I'm always way, way too poor to buy it. One more, one more, and I'm out. Okay, reasonably good. I was hoping to get an oil tower or two out here. I guess actually, now that I'm looking at it, not really worth it. I'm just going to sit here. I'm hoping my flail hordes do the trick. Oh, get some longbow friends. Wow. Uh... Okay, I don't know where he's going. Okay, he's going over there. Yeah, I think my decision uh, to go flails over um, knights helped tremendously. Also, the, those fire archers cannot be denied in terms of their effectiveness as well. I don't think I will go magic armor, though. I don't think it's really worth it. I think it's better for me to do some damage. Also, he's not... He's not attacking on the upper sections. I wonder if it's like a per damage thing. Or like where his troops are. Okay, now he's now he's moving up a bit. is much worse for me position wise but we haven't lost anything yet yeah I think just losing my damage potential uh, in favor of magic armor ain't worth it I think he might start spitting into the center. Oh, wow, we haven't even lost the, the flame archers yet. All right. And he's going to objectively the worst place for me, but also the worst place for him. 
Because all of my troops can just converge on him at this point. Okay. Get myself in position. Like, maybe magic armor actually isn't that bad. I definitely don't do as much damage, but I can sit here just tanking. Oh no, I should probably actually just kite those guys away. In retrospect. Okay, now he's going to the other side. I'm just going to let the fight horde clear, clean up. So despite everything, I think this actually was the nearly the optimum path here. I think the only thing I would have done is never built that rightmost harbor and really tried to get as many houses down as possible. I I actually could see an argument to be made um, for that for the upgrade that makes it so the houses uh, freely upgrade themselves. I'll have to check if that's one house per night because if that's the case, it's not worth it. There we go. They have flails for the win. I liked the idea of the fire archers, but the flails were just so much better. And yeah, I think I would have probably just also turned these people into um, flame archers as well and just accepted the hits from the flyers. Buildings only heal a third of their health points every morning. Destroy buildings take additional day to get repaired. All of your units have double health, but take way longer to respawn. Oh, that's kind of cool. All your archers have much greater range. Ooh, that could be really nice. The architect perk, buy gold mine on the second day. Cannot stress how good that is. You can't actually afford it. Um, Like, literally, you only get four gold uh, overnight. And so, like, I I like the idea of it, and it sounds good. Um, But I'm I'm actually not sure if it's possible. You would have to have royal mints even just to get to that point. At which point you'd be spending two perks just to get a mine. When you could also have like big harbors or any of these other perks. Maybe if we get the ability to have like four or even five perks uh, equipped at a time it would be worth it. But right now I'm not convinced it's worth that effort. You only buy one house and save two gold you can. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. For now though. I need to take a break because I'm starting to lose my voice and that's bad because I have to go record in a little while. So I guess thank you all for coming out tonight. Tonight, this afternoon, it was a lot of fun and I hope to do it again uh, sometime soonish. M maybe tomorrow? We will see. It. We have exterminators coming over uh, to deal with the wasp problem. Uh, so it's going to be a little tough for me to figure out when my next stream of this is going to be. Uh or maybe we just leave it as is and then I'll come back for the next big patch because that might actually be the case. Anyway, so with all that said, thank you all so much for watching. And if you guys are uh, showing up to my Lobotomy Corporation streams, I'll be doing a uh, another big stream on Saturday. But for now, I'm going to go. Goodbye.